Sorry. It's so funny, you would think that the mamas would brush and feed their babies, but they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They're tired of it. We've had a lot of babies born on our farm this kidding season. And while we love experiencing life with baby goats, with it comes a lot of milking. But now that the babies are ready to be weaned, that means that they are not very happy. Are you guys okay? Oh my god. Over the last month, Ethan's had a few health issues and we've been in and out of the hospital. But now we're back home and ready to get back to our life with goats. regular life and milking the goats. So we're gonna take you guys with us on the morning chaos. Hello, oh, see they're already going over to the fence. <laughs> Look how fat Olive is. She is so fat. She's so fat. We make Salem wait for us to go through. Wait. Ah, back up. Back up. Okay. Wait. Okay. Good morning, everybody is here. We got the we got the pastor crew here. We've got Willow and Luna and Olive and Daphne. And all the other ones are back in the barn. Go for it. Salem, come. No, he's gonna let Salem out. Oh, I thought we were gonna. Okay, Salem, see if all the goats make a path for you. Sit, stay, come, come. <laughs> Good job. Oh, you let Willow sneak in. <laughs> Willow. Willow, Willow does this Fluffy every Willow. winter. She gets, she turns like into yeah. fat storage mode. <laughs> yeah, she does. It's just fluff. Her hair goes. Okay. Come on, Willow. Get out of here. You've got your own food. So, do you want to milk Hazel? Sure. All right. Hazel's the first one up. These girls are too spoiled. No. The good thing is we have so many babies here, so we were able to let the babies stay on the mamas and just drink milk. And then that way we only had to milk Hazel in the time we were at the hospital. So that was nice. Only one of us had to come back and milk Hazel. I don't know how Kevin did it, but he figured it out. Oh my goodness. Lots of babies crying. Are you guys okay? Oh my gosh. Okay, gotta milk your mamas, okay? Come on, it's time to be milked. Let's go. Oh, watch out, turkey. <laughs> watch out. Lydia's done milking Hazel and now it's Tatum's turn. Switch. Switch, switch. Come on, switch. Come on. Be nice. Oh my gosh. So do you like to milk Tatum or no? <laughs> okay. All right, I'll do Tatum. I like milking Tatum. I think she's easy. Milking Tilly? You'll like milking Tilly. She's super I, I, easy. Keep your legs. <laughs> Gosh, I don't like her. Does she have food? Once you get started, she does just fine. All the chickens are locked up right now, so sad, because they keep laying their eggs all over the yard. So we have to go and find them. So, we're training them to actually lay in their boxes. And they're not perching in the right place at night to sleep. Wow. They're pooping on my feeder. And so this teaches them to perch in here at night where it's safest. How disobedient. Yeah. Tatum, you are so dramatic. Look at you. You look like you're like... <laughs> 
And you won't even eat? You won't even eat your grain, huh? No. She's she looks out. like she's just like a deer in headlights. <laughs> you are so weird. This, that's why that cat is so fat. She comes in the morning and she eats the grain. You are too fat. Never seen a fat farm cat, but there you have it. All right, Tatum, all done. Come on. You want to milk Tilly or Fern? Tilly. <laughs> Tilly's way easier. All right, go take Tilly. Seriously, just knock them out. <laughs> Watch out. That is so rude of you. Get off. <laughs> okay, there you go, Tilly. Look at that beautiful udder. Oh my gosh. You're just amazing, Tilly. It's huge. She has done such a good job. This is her fourth year having babies. Really? Okay, yeah. You're right. Wait. She's because she's five. Look at that beautiful udder. This is the culprit. Every time. Little escape artist. She gets out of the coop somehow. Well, we have holes on the side. We probably we should cover nails. up. And then she goes into the hay and hides the egg like a needle in a haystack. Yeah, she's a pretty smart one. Nails. Let's look at this. Oh, yeah, oh, let's clip them. Like All right, chicken's wings are clipped. Is the teeth in there? I can't see. Look at that. Let's see. She's so short. I can't see what I'm doing. No, the teeth's not in there. <laughs> Scoot it over. Get it in there. Dip it. Did I do it? Clean it. Yep. It you got it. You got it. Gosh, Tilly, you're so short. She is short. That's why it's good that we bred her with Zorro, because Zorro's taller. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, little Raven will be taller. Hi, Luna. How you doing? Oh, isn't it nice to just get back to regular life? Just milking a goat. Wow. Well, I wonder where Tatum gets the drama from, Tilly. Mm -hmm. I wonder. <laughs> you have food. It's okay, you have food. I know. Yeah, she has so much milk at like <laughs> it's at the very top. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Her other leg. That is a lot of milk, Tilly. This is it gonna smell? No, I think you can do it. Go. Oh, good job. Oh, look, you can have one of these. Right there. Good job. How did you do while we were gone, huh? Just running the herd, huh? The hardest part is walking the goats down this path because the other ones try to bully them. I think they're all tough. All right, she's not ready yet. I'm on deck with Fern. Fern's really sweet. She'll just stand here and wait. All right, come on, Fern. And she is the hardest, because she's short. She is short. She's short, her teats are on the sides. And they're little. Yep, they're tiny too. Yeah, give her some food. Let's see if Fern goes back on her own. Go straight, Fern. Go straight. Power through. Uh oh. Watch out. Watch out for the girls. <laughs> He's like pushing through. Oh my gosh. Don't leave. Okay, there you go. Let's, now we let the babies out. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Joey's like, where? Gotta find your mamas. I know, we're not the mamas. Oh, here, baby. Silly, why are you hiding from your daddy? Oh, Raven, that's not your mom. No, that's not his mom. Oh. There you go. There you go. Any of you guys sorry. Where's Fern? Where's your mamas? Oh, Tilly's gonna go in there and feed your babies. <laughs> there, Quill found his mama. He's so big. He is so big. Look how big he is. You are a big boy. Fern. It's so funny. You would think that the mamas would rush and feed their babies, but they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They're tired of it. 
<laughs> they don't even care to feed him. The babies come out and cry and it's funny. They do feed him throughout the day, but the urgency in the morning, they don't they don't feel it the same as the babies. Hazel's just up here hanging out. Oh, Hazel goes back out there. I don't know why she's in here. Dad must have. He must have put her in here. Hazel, are you wondering why you're in here? You don't have a baby. Stands there all day on that you don't have a baby right now, remember? Okay, come on, let's get you out of here so you don't bully any babies. Bye. Now the mamas and babies gonna be in here all day. Well guys, as you know, we've had a busy few weeks and honestly having some ready-to-made HelloFresh meals in the fridge has saved us in the dinner department. Nothing says I love you like a home-cooked meal and I love to make stuff fresh from the garden, but it's so nice also to have something quick and easy to make. They have simple recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients that help limit your prep time and just cut back on the trips to the grocery store. And you know this company knows what it's doing when it tells you to be sure and caramelize the onions. So if you haven't tried it yet, give it a go and see if it makes your life easier. Also, the produce gets from the farm to your doorstep in under a week, so it's at peak freshness. They offer a wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals, easy cleanup, and low prep options. And the packaging HelloFresh uses to ship your food is already recycled content. So if you'd like to cook somebody in your life a home-cooked meal that's quick and easy, go to HelloFresh.com and use code WEEDUM16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Sometimes life goes easy, sometimes life goes do-do-do-do. Sometimes minds go crazy, sometimes minds go do-do-do-do, do-do-do-do. Well, Luna's in heat right now because she's an anomaly and she just goes into heat year round, even though Nubians are not supposed to go into heat year round. <laughs> but Kevin has been working on a fun project for the buck pen. So Zorro can't touch him because he's smelly. We want him to get really big and buff and eat lots of stuff. So we had to make an area that he would be by himself and no one would eat his food. We can give him really high By no protein. one, do you mean? Yes. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> yeah. So, really high protein stuff. Lock him in there. So, I built a gate. But he's not in there all the time, right? <laughs> nope, he's that would be... in there for meal times at night when he can eat a lot. So that's his little night pen, and then he gets to go in there and eat all the food he wants, hopefully yeah. get nice and big. Yeah. Because he's just a little bit on the skinny side. Yeah. Look at him, a little bit skinny. Just wanna get him buff and strong. Zorro's been dewormed and he's otherwise healthy. I think he may just be like a slow growing goat. Um, some goats take longer to hit maturity and um, Zorro and Napoleon are from two completely different lines. So maybe that or maybe we haven't fed him enough high protein. So we're gonna try and see if we can get him to bulk up a little bit. So what I've been feeding Zorro for him to gain weight are these beet pellets, which are really high in carbohydrates, and then this Show Edge grower. It's a high protein grower that doesn't have any medications in it. So that combined with his regular hay portion every day, um, we're gonna hope that we can get him to bulk up a little bit because this spring there is a buck show and I'm excited because I wanna take Zorro and I want him to be nice and, and bulky like a buck should be. I have to say, this is a really good Kevin's Craft because you use something that was garbage. used or garbage and it matches. Did you plan that? Look, look on this side. It matches the little... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't That's plan it. Good. It looks good though. Good job, Kevin. And this year's project is to expand 
the buck pen. So it's pretty good so far, it's a pretty good space, but we're gonna use the space down there because we need, you know, more bucks, obviously. <laughs> when you have two girls with two different boys, the boys do not like it. Yeah, that's what we learned this year. They just fight so much. They hurt each other. So we need an expansion pack for, uh, for the buck pen. I swear, Luna, you would go into heat all the time, wouldn't you, if you could? She's so funny. So yeah, for the buck pen, it's gonna be tricky. We've gotta expand it, but then also make it so that it can be separated for when they're breeding and they so they don't fight with each other. So a little bit of a, we gotta figure this out, but that's on the list. Okay guys, tonight we are going to make some pizza. I have prepped the pizza dough. I did it, I made it two days ago. And so tonight we're going to um, cook it up in the pizza oven. So I'm gonna get all of the toppings ready and then later in this video we'll uh, make pizza tonight. And you guys can join us. I wish you guys could be here to eat some because it's so good, but you'll just have to smell it through the screen. Every time we come outside, Salem has to get a big drink from the pond, and then we head out to the animals. This milking station is a mess. It's a wreck. So we have got to clean it up today. All right, update on the geese. Okay. So, the fountain wasn't the best <laughs> fountain. <laughs> wasn't the best fountain. And we've decided we can't, you know, get a really nice fountain made out of concrete because it just gets so, so nasty. So, just so nasty. Oh my gosh. So we give them water every day in these buckets and it gets so nasty in just like, wow. what? Probably like an hour. So we are going to do a different plan where we let them have fun in the irrigation like crazy. Every two weeks they get uh -huh. like <laughs> two days of awesome vacation in the irrigation. Irrigation vacation. Okay, Lydia, okay. what do you think that is right there? I think it's a nest. You're right. They, I'm right? They started to do a nest right here by the tree. They made that? Yeah, so see what you can see in the nest. Chicken bones? <laughs> there are old chicken bones <laughs> from a a chicken that died years ago. But there are eggs in there. Hidden? Yes. Oh my gosh. But they're gonna get drowned in the irrigation. I know, that's why we have to we have to transfer them. Oh no. And show the geese that the geese goose house is the best place to be. I think you should go in there and you should move it all and I should stay out here and record oh. you while you do it. That's true. Okay. That's, that's a good idea. Sounds like a good plan. What is this? <laughs> it's an egg! Oh my gosh, you just threw away there. Don't pay attention, geese. We're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. Only dose eggs. One egg. Two eggs. You gonna put their little ramp up to this house? Yeah. All right, geese. Okay, geese. 
go over there and, and scare him over their house. Oh, there you go. She'll find it eventually, right? She'll find it. This is how we did it last year. And it worked perfectly. Okay guys, Lydia is gonna teach us how to make oh, no. pizza. <laughs> I'm just teasing. So, right, right. Uh-huh. Just gonna dip it in. Just gonna... We tried a lot of different toppings and our favorites are just the originals. We like the pepperoni, the mozzarella, green peppers, mushrooms, pineapple, of course. Oh. <laughs> And then caramelized onions just makes it all better. It's nice, but it's only four pizzas. It doesn't take that long for us to cook everything. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's kind of fun to cook for people, but it takes the whole night. Yeah, and it's like, you're not all eating at the same time. So what you really need to do is just make a bunch of pizzas beforehand. Oh, that's something. smart. Yeah, that's smart. Like you're gonna have a group over. You keep those. saying that and that's such a good idea. Ooh wee, that's hot. Burning hot. It's burning hot. Yay! <laughs> pizza. pizza! Pizza! Ethan's pizza is cooking and he decided to go with just like a plain one tonight, so. Yeah, just to have something simple. Yeah. So we may have like possibly messed all this up, but that's okay. Hello. So I burned one side of Ethan's pizza, but that's okay. That's okay. Put too much flour right there. I put too much flour there. <laughs> and uh, pizza dad flipped it. Well, he, he flipped it over, so he's gonna go with the calzone. <laughs> he wanted he wanted a calzone. He was in the mood for one. That's how we were planning. Yeah. And Lydia's is I good so far. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully it turns out. Let's see. This is an experiment. Hopefully, uh, this hopefully it doesn't flip open. Hopefully this doesn't go to heck. Oh, hey, that wasn't too bad. We'll see. Maybe it will work. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe it'll all spill out. Are you gonna flip it? No, you can't flip it, cause then oh, it'll. Oh yeah, I do need to flip it. Don't no, but I? then it'll, it's not even good on the top though. It's gonna all open up. That's true. All right. Not too bad. We shall see. <laughs> I don't know how cooked it is on the inside, but Lydia, you must be really good because yours cooked so well. I know. <laughs> you didn't even touch it. I didn't even touch it. It's just perfect. The and third one's the best. Didn't break apart like my piece of crap one that I made. I'm like curious to like split your... Our oven is so hot right now that we're not putting we can't it put it far. at the very back. We're kind of start, we're kind of pushing it and starting a little early. We should let it cool down, but we're hungry. Ready? Ready. I'm gonna put mine a little okay. further back. Yay. Break it open with that. All Let's right. Let's see then. <laughs> Oh, it actually looks pretty cooked too. Hey, not too bad. Good we'll job. See. So when we first start cooking it, it's super, super hot. And then as we keep going, it gets cooler and cooler. And so now we're sticking the pizzas a little bit further back, but it cooks it up in like a minute. It's so cool. And our chimney does work, but when we first start the fire, we get this really big like rolling fire and the smoke billows out the front. So that's why there's a little bit of smoke stain, but hey, we're still happy it works. <laughs> thank you so much for watching today's video. I wanna say thank you to everybody for all the kind words about Ethan. We unfortunately had to go back to the hospital last week and um, he just had a few little complications, but he's back home trying to get back to his old self and um, thanks for being patient with us. If you wanna go back and watch all the births of the babies this kidding season, go ahead and click here.